Good morning, internetses. Oh, me, oh, my. Oh, oh boy. Dear? Yes. I think we have a problem. What's that? Aside from our neighbors that don't know that the freaking New Year's is over. Um. Well, it turns out it looks like I'm right again. You don't say. Yeah. I know, who'd have thunk it? <laughs> Do you want to tell them what I'm, what I'm right about? Or, um... Should I just let them go ahead and explain themselves? You see, this is... What you're looking at here is... In Oregon where Clive and Bundy's son, sons, two. sons two, of them, two of them, have decided to take federal property by force, armed, again, seized federal property, and have now declared that they are occupying it and making demands. They are now terrorists. Again. Um, and I've been warning people that this shill network that's going around here. Now, I haven't publicized any connections to it. And I've been trying to play nice with some people who I know worked for it. But I thought maybe there was some hope for them. And obviously, that's a couple of people who I mentioned as being possible good guys on the shill list. But I think it's, you know, pretty obvious at this point where they stand, because I've been making it very plain that people who want to blame everything on the American government are leading you down a dangerous rabbit hole of treason. Okay. And the new flat earthers that popped up right when I did that's who these people work for the same people as this guy Pete Santilli talk network might ring a fucking bell well guess what that's Pete Santilli right there okay there's his little press thing at least I think that's him I'm pretty sure that's him I don't fucking care but anyways looks like him a little scruffier but here is the talk network website okay and I find this interesting this is very interesting because you know if you want to see the who's who of who's talking about the United States government being behind the Illuminati all you got to do is go to talknetwork.com Okay, and then we find um, on this mainstream media, you find this, okay, and her and Mark Sargent and all them fucking people, they don't hide this or anything, but, you know, use your brains, people. You have a story that they're promoting. That's the same story as all other, all other stories are promoting. Okay, and it's not about one person's silly theory marginalizing the whole thing. Okay, it's not about that. It's about what do all of these people have in common? What do all these people have in common with the people on the show list? What do these people have in common with what you see on Russia today? Okay. What, what, what do they have in common with what you see on known Russian propaganda? Okay. They're trying to turn you into this. Uh, am I right, dear? I, I don't know. Okay, could be, right? Could yep. be. I think you'd have to be an idiot to disagree. But, you know... Maybe I'm just, I, I just got tunnel vision or something, I don't know. What do you think? Is that what they're calling it these days, tunnel vision? 
No. You're totally right. And th this right here is bullshit. <laughs> Operation Hammond Freedom, because these two brothers, or related two men, got arrested and only served 90 days for letting a wildfire get out of control that prosecutors say was to cover up poaching that was going on in this land. And, and what was their whole deal to begin with, the, with the whole Clive and Bundy protest where they were aiming rifles at federal employees, law uh, enforcement officers? They marshals, were aiming guns yeah. at federal law enforcement officers? Yeah. That was at the, the protest in Nevada over them letting their cows graze on federal land that other people pay taxes on. Yeah, so, so most cattle ranchers have to own land and pay to maintain it, okay, and they graze their cattle on that land. This guy protests because he decided it was his right to be able to sell cattle having grazed them on your land, on my land, on federal land, on land that we pay to maintain. And these are the jack jackasses that are supporting these guys who let 127 acres burn to cover up their poaching, and the 127 acres wasn't even their land. You know why they're getting into the Flat Earth Movement? Because the Flat Earth Movement is vulnerable. Okay? They saw that our leadership consisted of Eric Dubé and Math Powerland. Somebody who's basically just regurgitating different religions at you and trying to progress the New Age agenda and another person who, you know, he's a charming guy and I think deep down he's a good person, but he's either lost or compromised. All right, that's just my opinion. He's one of the few people I still hold out hope for. But you know what? As far as Patricia Steer and Mark Sargent go, um, first of all, let's let's just give you an example of my claim that there are in fact people posing as Americans who either aren't Americans altogether or who have no true American loyalties. And um, they work for things like Talk Network. They're media organizations meant to castrate American morale. Amer Americans, right? Americans! Americans! Yeah! That sounded so sincere. saddest part is if some of them guys actually consider themselves patriots and they believe his bullshit <laughs> and a little chick sitting there trying to prompt him sound all nervous and, and they're uh, 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 Americans right oh yeah oh yeah Americans oh, America 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 for fuck's sake yeah I'm not even gonna show any more of this bullshit. Let's go to uh, CNN. Just uh, showed a little interview. Right, let's take you to Oregon now, where armed protesters have taken over the headquarters of the Malheur National Wildlife Refuge. The property is managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. No government employees were on the land at the time because the refuge was closed for the holidays. Well, the armed occupation grew out of a protest earlier in the day in the nearby town of Burns. That rally was to show support for two local ranchers, Dwight and Stephen Hammond. They were convicted of arson and sentenced to five years in prison. They're expected to turn themselves in Monday morning. Now, one of the men behind the occupation of the wildlife refuge is the son of Nevada rancher Clive and Bundy. You remember him? He was at the... The winner, winner, chicken dinner of all the winners in Finnergan in this stuff. Oh, you know, 
if you can't see how well this guy and Vladimir Putin just get along, just see eye to eye about things, you really need to educate yourself and wake up from the narrow environment of truth that you allow yourself. The center of a tent standoff last year with the Bureau of Land Management over grazing fees for his cattle. Eamon Bundy says he hopes other... Man, that's a nice ride. Cooey. Like we doggies. ...will join the armed protest at the wildlife refuge. Watch and listen. I don't want to fucking watch and listen to that bullshit. Right, let's, take you to let's take you to a decent Nearby still shot. Of, of employees were on there we go. That just says it all. So these people who snuck into federal property and occupied it with guns while they were away for holidays. Oh, that's showing them. Right. Ain't even nobody there. <laughs> and then they're the, they're gonna go and drape an American flag over the federal wildlife refuge. You know, because just introducing species here and there and letting them fucking go wherever the hell they want because it's economically pleasant or whatever. That's that's good for America, right? Fucking up the ecosystem, destroying the environment. That's great for America, right? And you're just not a patriot if you don't support somebody's right to profit off of doing so, right? Bullshit. We have reached a new level here. <laughs> no, not that kind of level, dude. <coughs> Shut up. <coughs> Coffee went down the wrong tube. <laughs> You're not supposed yeah, it's... to inhale it. <coughs> Shut up. <coughs> to get coffee and be like face. Bill Clinton and don't inhale <laughs> um, but no I mean I, I don't even get this I mean I did not have sexual relations with that coffee <coughs> what Miss Community <laughs> I, I did not have <laughs> sexual relations with Miss Community no, now Starbuck that's a different story <coughs> What I want to know is how you can get so many people together to protest the fact that these two men, the, the whole purpose of this is because right. these two guys are supposed to be finishing out their five-year sentence. They only served 90 days. 90 days at five years. And they're protesting them going back to jail over this. They let 127 acres of federal land burn to cover up their illegal poaching activities. How do you have so many people that are that are for this kind of behavior? Because that's essentially what it is. They're for this kind of behavior. Let's just destroy everything. And it's just the finest example of how private, anti-American interests can get media backing due to the foreign infiltration of media. Okay, these are all people who want to tell you about the Illuminati and the New World Order being all America's fault and the Catholic Church's fault. None of the people who they point you to have anything to do with this. Okay? This is Vladimir Putin and the false Jews. 
people who try to get people to be anti-Semitic. There's just all kinds of dark rabbit holes that people are trying to send every type of truth movement down. Nobody wants to even tell you about the possibility that there's an organized media conspiracy to subvert the United States government. And people who want to whine about what I say and unsubscribe to my channel because they can't handle the truth. This is what you're standing up for here. You're standing up for private greedy motherfuckers who want to destroy America for their own reasons. And they're using you. You're their little puppets. Okay? If you'd like to not be a puppet and get some real information, and this isn't a cliche, I know this is some other flat earthers have been trying to use my cliches to their advantage, but they don't tell you the whole truth. I'm sitting here telling it like it is, okay? I don't have a script when I do these videos. I, uh, the only videos I've ever put in front of a camera and spoken with a script were ones that I showed the script in front of the camera for. We just kind of think and talk. Okay? It's so this not is even what we actually know. This is actually the way we see things. We're not reading a fucking script. And even the notes that we show you aren't even a script. They are notes. They are guidelines for us to not forget important talking points. Right. And, and, uh, a, a quarter of the time I can't even read my own damn handwriting. Hmm. Um, so yeah. That's the real deal. With what's behind the recent influx of shills into the Flat Earth Movement. Okay. And... Huh. It'd be nice if there was a competent person who was willing to quote-unquote lead the Flat Earth Movement. But, you know, if somebody were capable of doing that, they'd have to be, you know, Jesus or something. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye. Peace.